Hello, my name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamps here in the UK and welcome to YouTube Tuesday. Today we're just going to do a quick demonstration and I just want to take some texture paste and pull it through a stencil. Now we've got this wonderful Chinese lantern stencil and I want to show you, it's a new one, and I want to show you how to separate out two images on a stencil. So I thought we'd take some black card because it's really vibrant. Uh, white on black looks so sharp. And I want to show you how to um, pull texture paste through this aperture. So you see, I'm not at the mercy, I don't have to do a seven by seven. I can put the shape or the image wherever I want to see it on my car. So I want to make a tall, um, a tall Chinese lantern like that. And then the most important thing then is to just cover up everything else that I don't want to cover with grunge paste. So I'm using low tack masking tape and I'm just going to make sure that there's no black exposed. And I'd also, obviously, I don't want to um, spoil the image itself. So for the sake of art, I'm going to go through a little bit of masking tape here. There we are. Of course, the most important thing that I need to cover up is this second Chinese lantern, this smaller one, because I don't want it in my picture. Not this time anyway. So I just want to cover this up with masking tape. It's just like a little surgery really. Look, it's quite straightforward. Easy, easy peasy. Like so. So now I'm checking and I've got absolutely nothing exposed except the Chinese lantern that I want to, to change. So the next thing I want to do is get my, my bits and pieces ready. Now this texture paste or grunge paste, grunge paste, brilliant stuff. Um, it dries quite quickly on my on my tools and on my on my stencil. So I've got a little tray of water here, and as soon as I'm finished, I'll put it straight in the water. It's not a problem. So I'm going to just. This is how I do it. There are lots of different ways, I'm sure, but this is the way I like to do it. So I'm just going to load up. Let's just stir up a little bit, and I'm just going to take some texture paste, and I just want to load it up like this, and I'm going to deposit it at the top like that. I think that's plenty. So then I'll put the lid back on. I'll stick that in the water. Put the lid back on my texture paste. And then I've got this really cool spreader. And all I'm going to do is just drag it straight through. If you could do it in one sweep, so much the better. Let me get my glasses on. And then we're just going to pick it up with the, tech, with the spreader like so. And then slowly drag it, pressing quite hard all the way through and off the other side. Now, if I'm going to be frugal, I can take this and I can wipe this back in here. There we go, waste not, want not. Spreader can go in the water too. And then, and then, lid on that. And now the trick is just to lift this stencil off here as quickly and as painlessly as possible. So I just want to move my, here we go, get my black card up, remove, Look at that, sharp as sharp can be. And then we'll just take our masking tape. I'm not going to try and salvage this in the name of art. That can go in the bin. And then my wet stencil, I'm going to pop in the water too. And I can wash that quite easily. OK, so I'll leave that to soak in there. Now, this is YouTube, so we've got to get a bit of a wriggle on. And uh, so for the in the name of art, what I've done is, this needs about 15 minutes to dry. I'm going to put that to one side, and here's one that I did earlier. And I've also already taken another stencil, which uh, I've washed, dried, and cleaned, etc. Um, I wanted to show you how we can also add some color to this. But let's enjoy this for the minute. Look, this is lovely and sharp and crisp. So I just wanted to show you how simple that is. And then, if I wanted to add a little bit of color, Let's do this. I'm going to replace my stencil just like so and make sure it's in the right place Let's like that. You know when it is because it just sort of drops into place. Obviously the, the texture paste, the grunge paste is raised so it just slots back in again. So we're just going to put it in place so it doesn't slide around while we're working. 
and then we can add color. So let's just just bear with me one second and then I'll show you. This is very, very lovely to do. So we'll just put that one there as well. Cool. So then I need a couple of makeup sponges and I need some color. So enter the ink pads. Well, I would suggest that we start with some scattered straw. And that way I can just take some of the distress ink. Adirondacks would work all ink pads. There we are. And we're just going to add some yellow through like this. Let's just get it going. And you'll see it's so easy to enhance or to add some color to. And I'm just going to come in from the edge as well. So nice to do. Right, so we've got some yellow going through there. And I think I might just drag a little bit through the stalk as well. There we go, let's get some dark going through there. Right, so a little bit of yellow. And then, what did I use? Scattered straw. Lovely, isn't it? And do you know what? I'm going to keep it really simple. I don't want to go mad. Let's just take some spiced marmalade, nice orange colour, just to add a little bit of depth. I don't think it's a great deal darker. I was thinking that I might go with fired brick or red, but I, you know what? I think we'll keep it subtle. Let's just add this orange there. Oh, yeah, do you know what? I don't think I'm wrong. So we'll just add a little bit of shade around the bottom here. Look, just a little bit around this end here. And then I think we're done, do you know? Lovely. Look, just like that. You can always add it, but you can't take it away. Okay, and then if we lift this away, let's check it out. Put the lid on our ink pad, always good housekeeping. Um, just there we are. Lift away. And there we have a delightful, beautiful, almost three-dimensional Chinese lantern. So I hope you enjoyed that. Very simple. How to drag texture paste through a stencil and then highlight it with dye-based ink pads. Thanks very much for joining me and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye now.